Jet planes in the night sky with you. Hey there, lovely souls, and welcome to Harfeld's Whimsical Carnival of Love. Today we'll spin the wheel of fate, revealing secrets tucked away in love's mysterious fun house. A toast to our seasoned attendees who've ridden this carousel with us and a sprinkle of magic dust for our first time visitors. So grab your ticket, it's time to see which romantic roller coaster awaits for you next. But before we do that, uh, take a moment, take a deep breath and focus on uh, one of the crystals or one of the decks and see which one attracts you the most. So we have here the Jade Crystal. Uh, or the um, book of the shadows tarot volume 2 as above so below i think is called uh, the pile number two is going to be the citrine crystal and uh, this is the egyptian tarot and for the pile number three we have the amethyst crystal and the everyday witch uh, tarot deck so I'll see ya in a second where the ride will start. Hey there, my pile number one. So if you've been drawn to this uh, Jedi crystal or to the Book of Shadows uh, deck, this is going to be your reading before we start. Um, I want to thank you all guys. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family and thank you so much for your support. If you're an old subscriber or someone that's been here from the start, uh, really thank you so much from all the bottom of my heart for all the support you guys been showing. And uh, yeah, it's much appreciated. Thank you again. Uh, I want to tell you that uh, I uh, shuffled some um, oracle cards uh, for this reading for you. And uh, I'll uh, start with those to see what messages we got uh, for you, my pile number one. Also, I have here um, two more oracle decks regarding the um, zodiacal signs. I'll put them aside. We will get into those at the ending of the reading to see uh, what extra messages we get there or who you might be dealing with or who's coming in your life. Uh, before we start, I just want to tell you that each of you possesses a unique light and purpose in this vast universe. So remember, even of, on your toughest days, uh, that you matter, you're loved, and the world is richer with, with you in it. So just embrace your journey with hope and resilience, guys. I felt like uh, someone out there uh, needed to hear this. I'm just gonna start with the oracles, I will put the tarot for now aside and let's dive in, let's see what messages you guys got here. Oh, this is so nice, Fortuna. This is from the Everyday Oracle deck by Los Carabeo. Uh, Fortuna speaks about the Wheel of Fortune and uh, it's about luck. Uh, signifies luck, destiny, turning tides of life. Um, so I feel like uh, the things are about to <laughs> change, take a change in your life, guys. Here, um, for some of you, if you're single, you might be meeting your fated or destined uh, uh, person here. Uh, for others of you, you might be dealing with a karmic, uh, the Wheel of Fortune speaks about karmic relationship as well. Or maybe if you're in a partnership, you might be with a karmic or with a soulmate, um, strong soulmate. You know better in what kind of relationship you are in right now. For those that are single here, um, tell me that... Um, a positive change and serendipity uh, it's coming in your love life um, I feel like someone it's about to enter your life who recognizes and resonates with your light um, you just have to trust the universe plan and keep your open heart uh, and remember that sometimes destiny has its own timing here we cannot just rush the things it's not hey I want it today this partner to come no they will come when you're prepared when the universe thinks that you're ready to receive this gift um, 
uh, I feel like with this card uh, there is a time where uh, change in meetings, new introductions or unexpected connections will play a pivotal role for you, my pile number one here. Uh, for those that are in a relationship, um, tells me that uh, you guys will experience a turning point here in your relationship. Uh, might be influenced by forces beyond your control. Um, I feel like you guys will start to value and strength uh, in each other uh, that you guys are bringing to the table in your partnership. Uh, yeah, whenever you've been facing or you will face uh, challenges or uh, joyous uh, events here, I feel like you guys will be able to lean on each other and trust in your bond and believe in your journey you're uh, co-creating here with this card. I feel like for some of you this uh, relationship will be destined to grow deeper and shift in a way that brings more alignment um, to both of your paths here. So yeah, just embrace the changes and uh, remember that love, it's a force on, on its own here with this card. Now we'll be taking the Sacred Traveler, I think it's called. And let's see what you got here. Traveling lightly, simplify your life here. Okay, um, the first message I'm getting with this card. <laughs> um, You guys might be traveling, going to travel, um, in a vacation, somewhere, I don't know, I'm getting this message of traveling. Uh, others of you might be moving your home, you're changing houses, you're moving from a place to another and I feel like you'll just take the essential things that you need with you, you won't be taking everything that you own. Um, for others of you, maybe your uh, relationship comes or came to a point where you separate ways here not for everyone of course that's just a specific message that I got um, for the singles here uh, I feel like you guys will let go of past baggages here and heavy emotions that been weighing you down I feel like you guys um, are either going to a time of cleanse and declutter or uh, you've been going through this already um, and you're just declutter not only your, your physical surroundings but your emotional and spiritual self uh, as well here um, in order to let um, this love to enter in your life in, I feel like you guys realize it's essential to clear and uh, have this open space in your uh, life right now I feel like you're releasing any past regrets, disappointments and heartbreaks with this card. Uh, by simplifying and clearing out the old, you're making way for the new here. And I feel that's why the universe will reward you with a fated partnership here. Uh, or a soulmate, a twin flame, whatever. A long-lasting relationship, I feel. Um, you'll have anyway a new vibrant and meaningful connection with this card uh, i feel like the universe might be nudging you to become the best version of yourself before the right person comes into your life if you haven't done that already uh, for those that are in a relationship here with this card signals me the importance of declutter shared experiences there uh, might there might be this um, reoccurring issues or uh, past arguments that uh, keep circling back uh, in your relationship here so I feel like you either guys will address this and uh, will release it and move forward here um, you guys I feel like you'll simplify your relationship by focusing what truly really matters to you uh, your love and you guys will move forward um, you guys will uh, have shared experiences and mutual growth with this card um, I feel like some of you are trying to avoid complicating things with external influences or past issues here um, so yeah for most of you I feel like it's a time to 
um, to journey forward together with a lighter load and make space for joy connection and deeper understanding in your partnership if you're not doing that already uh, this is a um, message from the whispers of love here um, deck let's see what you got here oh <laughs> I love you. These are powerful words. Okay, we discard. Remember what I told you that guys at the beginning in the message that you're loved. Um, if you, even if you're single, it's, I feel like this is the universe reassuring you that you're being loved. Anyway, for the singles here, we discard. Uh, it tells me that um, I feel I feel this declaration of love that is on the horizon for you here or that some of you are being encouraged to acknowledge your feelings for someone with this card um, perhaps i don't know you've been hesitant to ad hesitant to admit uh, or express your feelings uh, to someone here or maybe someone in your life has deep feelings for you with this card and uh, they wish to express this I feel like the uh, the door opens for new romantic experiences here for you if you're a single uh, person. Also, this card might be a reminder not to under underestimate the power of genu genuinely acknowledging and honoring your feelings as well. Maybe some of you need to do some self-love uh, before, as I said, in the fated person uh, will enter in your life well, if you're in a relationship here this card I feel like it reinforces the importance of uh, expressing love to one another even if you believe that your partner already knows how you feel uh, I think it's a reminder for you to never take those uh, words for granted um, saying I love you to someone is like reaffirming your bond and creating a nurturing environment in which both of you will feel valued here. So it's like an invitation for you to deepen your connection and not only expressing love verbally but uh, showing it in small gestures daily as well for some of you. Uh, I feel like uh, for you what's coming in uh, love for you what you can expect you can expect a uh, time of increased in intimacy here with this card here uh, understanding uh, deepening your bond between you and your partner uh, I feel like you guys will feel cherished uh, in this uh, relationship here also it's a reminder uh, how profound and powerful uh, your relationship is for some of you now let's move to the last oracle card and well message here this is the oracle mm, no mermaids of uh, oracle of our mer mermaids okay sorry <laughs> uh, okay let's see what you have here energy field adjustment our cleansing and health yeah definitely someone here needs to do some cleansing in their aura for sure <laughs> um, I feel like this card this, someone here needs to purify one's aura and ensure that personal energy is sort of balanced and vibrant here it underscores the importance of emotional, mental, and spiritual health uh, in influencing one's circumstances this card. Um, for singles, um, again, this card tells me the, that you need to cleanse past wounds here for some of you and negative patterns in order to attract a healthy and fulfilling love life. Um, someone here might be carrying energies from past relationship or uh, hurtful experiences. And um, the universe is telling you that now is the time to release and to open up to new and positive romantic opportunities. As I said, some of you already been doing this. You've been uh, cleansing uh, your energy field. You've been uh, mm, um, taking this uh, perspective of living a healthier life. And 
you already been through this process and this is just a uh, confirmation message for you out there uh, so yeah um, I feel like um, if you're just focusing on self-love and ensuring your aura is radiant and unbud unburdened here um, you'll naturally attract individuals in your life who who resonate with your renewed energy here for some of you so uh, I see that some of you are already practicing um, this by meditating maybe you, some of you are taking some sea baths or uh, doing some energy healing here and if you're not doing this maybe uh, can be beneficial from during this time for you guys here uh, for my couples um, again for you as well there might be for someone out there uh, might be some regi residual uh, issues or energy imbalances that is affecting your partnership um, it's like a nudge for both partners to individually um, cleans their energy fields in which can uh, re revitalize uh, the relationship here uh, this, the universe is telling you that this is an excellent time to engage in joint activities that can aid in this process such as uh, couples meditation or retreats uh, by focusing on your aura cleansing and health um, I feel like you both partners can ensure that they are bringing their best selves to the relationship uh, relationship here uh, like promoting understanding harmony and uh, deeper intimacy with this card so now let's move to the tarot oh, sorry no i'm sorry for that by the way if you can hear some noise on the background it's my uh, fan sorry <laughs> it's really hot here so I needed to leave it open for a bit so I'm sorry for the noise I hope it's not too disturbing uh, I'll take a, I'll do the three spread uh, the um, three three card spread I wanted to say wow and uh, we'll see uh, what you can expect in your love next so my pile number th one what can you expect in your love life here I'll shuffle one more time okay. I'll pick up the cards from the top and uh, I'll do it off camera because I don't want to get some nudity on the screen here in case I need to cover it <laughs> sorry for that um, and I'll check at the bottom of the deck you have the four of uh, swords here the bottom of the deck it will be the um, message from your counterpart what uh, they want you to tell you right now what you need to know from them right now so let's pull the cards you have first card the chariot here the second card the seven of swords and the last card the third card the two of pentacles here okay so with the chariot here uh, I feel like Usually this card is represented by willpower, determination, triumph over challenges. Um, so you guys will be able to uh, move uh, forward uh, with whatever challenges you might be facing. You'll be triumphed here in your love life. Uh, for some of you, uh, if you're single, uh, cancer might be entering your life here it doesn't have to be uh, maybe if you're in a relationship you're already dealing with someone that is in the cancer zodiacal sign 
um, for a single here you, I feel like someone that's very nurturing uh, that will be very protective uh, intuitive and it will feel like home loving which about to enter your life here um, it's indicating to me that while you're focused on your personal uh, journey and growth much like this woman that it's focusing on the driving and not being uh, distracted by whatever is uh, happening in the background here um, um, opportunities for love are going to be present uh, here like the husband that is trying to chat with her I feel like opportunities are coming your way here um, if you're not going to you're not going to deal with a cancer maybe this person will have the qualities of a cancer um, and this tells me that um, you're attracting or might be attracted to someone who embodies the nurturing and intuitive nature of this uh, cancer zodiacal sign um, so yeah embrace your journey but also can um, be open to unexpected detours that can lead to love uh, by balancing personal goals and uh, with openness to new connections i feel you will create a path for a harmonious and nurturing relationship here um, you might be meeting this person um, for example if you're um, traveling somewhere in going towards a vacation or maybe this person um, it's moving from a city uh, to your city uh, next to you is going to be your neighbor something like it's going to be an unexpected turn event here um, I feel like this person will bring you a lot of harmony, unity, and the joyous outcomes of successfully navigating challenges here. Um, and you'll have this uh, very good uh, communication and partnership, even at miss the uh, tasks that require focus. For those that are being um, in a relationship it indicates to me that uh, while one of the partners like um, the woman that is driving might be taking the lead in uh, certain aspects of life it's essential to maintain open communication and cherish the joyous moments here like the happy children in the back seat here uh, the Cancerian influence uh, empathizes the need for nurturing and protecting the bond that you share here. Um, this is a time to jointly overcome challenges and uh, through shared determination strengthen your bond. So I feel like this journey together with your partner um, uh, will help you combine the willpower that you guys both have and uh, will ensure you triumph for, over uh, any obstacles. I feel like you guys will celebrate your success and um, I feel like uh, both partners here will feel valued and heard in this uh, with this uh, chariot card um, also you might be going and traveling uh, with your um, partner as, as well you guys might be um, moving in another town maybe with a chariot or maybe you guys are uh, moving the relationship to a next step here um, some of you you might be uh, forming a family with this person with the chariot here uh, others of you and you're just going to take a vacation you guys going to relax somewhere and you can, if you're facing any challenges right now in your relationship, I feel that what's coming in next or what you can expect uh, is that you guys with the chariot will have triumph over any obstacle in your relationship. You guys will, um, uh, with the fortune here, things are changing uh, towards better places now. Um, 
so yeah you just going to move forward with your relationship whatever it's um, that for means to you now with the seven of swords here now if i can take the card come on <laughs> um usually um, this card can mean uh, deceptions uh, strategy or getting away with something here I'll have to see what's all this about um, I see here human interactions and relationships with um, these two hands in the picture um, the fairies here uh, often symbolize the mystical and seen forces and intuition here for me uh, and the journaling uh, pages of this book um, is like knowledge, secrets, or past experiences. Um, the Seven of Swords, um, it uh, might signify that you're dealing with an Aquarius here, with an air sign. You don't have to be. Uh, I feel that if you're single, that someone that's very inno innovative, analytic, analytical, and so at times can be detached, uh, but values the intellectual connections, it's coming towards you, my pile number one. Uh, this uh, implies to me that uh, for the singles, uh, someone around you, you may not be completely, might not be completely transparent transparent or uh, forthcoming about uh, intentions or feelings with you right now um, given the search that these fairies are doing here um, I feel that um, it's a good time for in introspections and reevaluate past patterns of lessons in love as well with this Aquarian influence, you might be drawn or to be attracting individuals who might have an intellectual or analytical approach to relationships. Also, I, I feel like it's essential to ensure that clarity and transparency in your interactions and um, just trust uh, your intuition if something feels off here with this card. Uh, for those that are in a um, relationship here, it tells me that uh, there is a need to be open to communications here, someone. Um, it indicates to me that there are things unsaid or secrets in this relationship for some of you. Uh, so this card, um, this card is like um, both partners need to bring any hidden issues to the light here. Um, this Aquarian energy uh, prompts discussions that are not just emotional but also analytical and forward thinking. So I feel like you guys will be addressing any underlying deceptions or miscommunications here. And the relationship will evolve into more transparent and trust-filled bond. I feel like this card is a reminder for you guys to always be genuine with each other and value the intellectual and communicative aspects of your partnership. Now, the Two of Pentacles here. Uh, for some of you, with the two of pentacles, this is uh, associated with the sign of the Capricorn. Uh, maybe a Capricorn might be entering your life if you're single or in a relationship. You might be dealing with someone that's a Capricorn here. doesn't have to be. Uh, for those that are singles, um, someone that's very practical, has a lot of ambition, structure, and is very dedicated, will enter your life. Um... I feel like uh, for singles, you're in a phase where you're trying to balance your personal goals and that's what you're going to do next. 
um, your your emotions and perhaps your romantic aspirations here you're just like following the recipe here uh, there might be a desire as well to approach relationship uh, ships or love in a structured or correct way um, this uh, Capricorn influence tells me that um, you're going to take uh, practical steps uh, and perhaps uh, you'll set specific intentions when it comes to dating or meeting new people for some of you um, with this little gnome spirit here tells me that um, it's good to have a plan but mm, remember there are also unseen guidances and uh, serendipity at play here remember the fortune uh, card mm, universe has its own plan here <laughs> No matter how many recipes we try to follow, instructions is never working the way we want because there are some little uh, things unseen that are at play as well. Um, but yeah, um, I feel like you'll have a relationship that will uh, maintain balance and um, it will bring unexpected ingredients to you in your life and it will make your love life even richer this person that gets in your love life i feel with this card for those that are in a relationship um, this card here imagery indicates to me that you guys uh, are you know, going to balance your shared responsibilities and dreams in the relationship here. It's, you guys are trying to create something together, um, but by doing so you guys need to know that requires both structure and flexibility here. So it's essential for you to communicate and divide the tasks or uh, responsibilities in the relationship. And also be open to the unexpected joys or challenges that uh, may come your way. Uh, this uh, Capricorn energy empathizes the building a solid foundation and working together towards shared goals. Um, also, at the same time, this uh, Gnam spirit here reminds um, that um, there is always a touch of magic and spontaneity uh, in keeping the relationship vibrant. And I feel like this is uh, what you guys will do. Now, I think I forgot to give you the message from the bottom of the deck. Sorry for that. And uh, the, what your counterpart wants you to know uh, at this moment right now here. Uh, as you can see, this woman is taking a break to indulge in a simple pleasure um, of life, like, I don't know if she's mailing a flower here, taking time to, you know, get distracted, allowing herself to be distracted, relaxed, or if she's eating shrimp here, I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but it's essential to find moments of joy and relaxation, no matter how brief with this card so uh, the message from your counterpart is that i know that even during periods of stress or intensity i value the moments of calm and pleasure these small breaks and indulgences help me regain my balance and perspective it's a reminder for both of us to prioritize self-care and find solace even in the smallest things so let's ensure we allow ourselves those moments of pause and enjoyment for they are vital for our well-being. Um, you might be dealing with the Libra here, with the Four of Swords, guys. You don't have to be. But I feel like this uh, person uh, will bring you a lot of balance, harmony, partnership, and an appreciation for beauty and pleasure here. Um, Libras usually often seek for equilibrium in all the areas of life and values the moments of peace here. Um, so yeah, just um, try to find balance uh, and moments of uh, respite amidst the busyness of life. 
for some of you, if you're single, or maybe if you're in a relationship, you might have met or you'll meet your partner at work with this four of swords. I see that she's uh, in a working environment here, in a business office somewhere. So, yeah. Uh, I almost forgot about these other cards. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, you have a Capricorn here with the two of Pentacles, another one. So, that's confirmation for some of you. Um, this is an earth sign that is being ruled by Saturn and it's being associated with uh, discipline, ambition, structure, and practicality. Um, the, if you're going to deal or you're dealing with a Capricorn, this person is seeing it's going to be determined, hardworking and very responsible here. Um, or maybe some of you uh, needs, um, has these needs for discipline and structures uh, in your endeavors here with this card. Whether you're working on a project or seeking personal growth or navigating a relationship, the Capricorn energy usually encourages you to set your goals clear and work diligently towards them. Um, also, it's a reminder to value your uh, perseverance and patience in a long-term view. Uh, for some of you, uh, this is a warning as well. Um, maybe you guys are becoming too rigid or overly focused on work and responsibilities and you're neglecting the softer emotional side of your uh, life so I feel like balance is the key here for you guys okay and the last one mm, we have the Pisces here some water sign okay um, this is um, ruled by Neptune uh, or Jupiter, I think, I'm not sure, one of those. Um, usually it's being associated with intuition, dreams, compassion, spirituality. Uh, Piscini Piscinians uh, are often viewed as being empathic, sensitive and imaginative. Um, you might be dreaming of this person. You might have dreams of them or maybe you already know in your intuition who this person might be um, I feel like that um, you guys will have your uh, intuition heightened and emotion uh, some you're being a bit uh, sensitive when it comes to emotions um, I feel like uh, you guys need to trust your feelings and perhaps dive deeper into your dreams or uh, sp spiritual practices here with this card. Um, also, you guys will be more in tune with your energies around you. Um, you guys will be more creative or may be doing more creative endeavors or activities that require passion and uh, understanding here. Um, some of you might be feeling uh, that you're having these uh, overwhelmed emotions, you're being ever overwhelmed by emotions or have this tendency to escape the reality with this energy here. So it's important for you guys to stay grounded and not get lost in day daydreams or fantasies to the detriment of your daily responsibilities. So, yeah, this is uh, what I had for you. I hope uh, it helped you guys, uh, gave you some insight on what's coming in. Or what you actually not what's coming in, what you need to expect from your love life. Um, thank you for staying up till the end. If it's resonated with you, don't forget to share, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Much appreciated, guys. And... Um, yeah, uh, we should have an amazing day, night, and stay healthy, my friends. Bye, until next time. Hey there, my lovely souls. If you've been drawn to this uh, crystal uh, citrine one, I think it is, yeah. Um, this is going to be a reading, or if you've been drawn to this uh, Egyptian tarot. Um, before we start, um, I want to let you know that 
I've been uh, shuffling some oracle messages for you. I have them right here. I didn't check them yet out. I have no idea what they are. And also I have two extra ones here that uh, are going to give you a message about your uh, what's called um, zodiacal signs you might be dealing with just for confirmation for you i will read those at the end of the reading um but yeah i want to let you know that guys um that in this vast tapestry of the universe your existence is not a mere coincidence but placement uh, to purpose and potential so remember that even in your hardest days you're capable you matter and you're not alone so embrace the journey for every step you take is a test testament of your resilience and strength uh, i felt uh, like uh, giving you some messages before we start the reading today maybe someone out there needs to hear these words um so yeah you guys are not alone i hope you remember that in this universe uh, for those that been uh, new uh, subscribers um, i want to welcome you all to the family thank you so much for your support uh, those that been here from the beginning and are all subscribers uh, you have all my gratitude and appreciation for all the um, support you guys been showing and offering thank you so much guys so let's begin um, i will start with the oracle messages for you i will leave the tarot for now here on the side so let's start with the first card uh, the first one is from the um, everyday oracle by los los carabeo i think it's called if i'm butchering the words i'm really sorry <laughs> uh, please forgive me anyway so let's see what we have here consolante sorpresa uh, it's like a comforting uh, surprise um, I think it means, I, I hope I'm not wrong, <laughs> um, but yeah, here uh, tells me that um, uh, if you're single here, um, or um, for, if you've been single for a while, or you have been experiencing any heartbreak with this card here, suggests to me that uh, there is a pleasant surprise uh, coming up uh, in your life, in your love life. Um, this could mean some unexpected romantic encounter or maybe for some of you rekindling of an old flame here or perhaps a new founded self-love and appreciation for others um, this card is telling me that the universe is about to present you with a comforting twist in your love life it's going to be a very nice surprise so stay open to new experiences and encounters guys here uh, if you're in a relationship though this card tells me that um, there is going to be a renewal of passion and affection in your uh, relationship perhaps you and your partner will experience a deepening of your connection or um, there might be a surprise that will strengthen your bond uh, this could be a f in a form of a memorable date uh, a thoughtful gesture from their uh, from them or uh, news that will bring you both joy uh, who knows maybe some of you were um, expecting <laughs> for something to cook in the oven and <laughs> now it's finally cooking i don't know that's an extra message for someone out there i'm sorry um so yeah um you guys just embrace the unexpected and cherish the moments that remind you of uh, why you fell in love in the first place with this card I'm gonna leave it here on the side for now. Uh, this is the um, Sacred Traveler um, deck. Let's see what message we have for you here. Uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. I'm gonna leave it down here. I think you guys will be able to see it more, much better like this. Mm. Okay so with this card here uh for those that are being single here i feel like um the journey of singleness often comes with layers of self-discovery and growth so uh, this card tells me that uh, you guys are 
delving deeper into understanding your own desires you rediscard uh, values and self-worth um, you'll unearth a wealth of experience and emotions in this period of time here this card also tells me that um, you might uh, manifesting a new romantic uh, opportunities and a deeper connection um, in your love life here, even with yourself or, or maybe someone else is uh, entering your life. I feel like um, the treasures in your love life might have been hidden here for you or un under overlooked, sorry. Um, but by looking beneath the surface, by being open and introspective, you'll find relationship and experiences here that will enrich your life. Uh, I feel some of you that are being single, um, I feel like there is someone that you didn't even thought of, you didn't even think of that uh, this person can be a potential partner for, for you. Uh, I feel that with that person you'll... Um, uncover a great treasure uh, for some of you here you will find this uh, beautiful bond a uh, beautiful relationship that will uh, unveil for you with this person here is someone that you you didn't even thought of a potential partner from uh, uh, by you so uh, for those that are in a relationship here uh, this card, call, <laughs> this card tells me that um, it's not uncommon for routines uh, to develop here, uh, for conversations maybe to become surface le level for some of you, or mm, for others for patterns to become repetitive in your relationship. Uh, with this card here. Um, I feel it's coming a period for you guys where you and your partner will discover unhidden depths uh, of uh, new facets of your relationship. Um, I see op uh, communicating being um, more openly with each other here. Um, you guys will be maybe asking each other profound questions and spending more quality time together. Um, you'll uncover uh, treasures like newfound passions, shared dreams or even buried challenges here uh, that once addressed um, can strengthen your bond with your uh, partner. So let's move on. Uh, this is going to be a message from the um, whispers of love I think it's called. I will just leave um, all the, the decks I've been using in the description below so in case you're interested let's see oh my god true love oh this is so sweet this love is once in a lifetime i hope it's focusing on the card here i'm trying to focus the camera on it i hope you can see it oh wow oh wow oh, wow oh, wow oh, guys Look what's coming towards you. You already might have, if you're in a partnership with someone, you, I feel like you already met your true love and you're already with your true love. Um, for those that are, that are being single, um, this card heralds a powerful message here. Uh, I feel like the universe is aligning you to bring forth a love that is deep, transformative and rare here for you guys. Uh, if you haven't experienced this kind of love yet, um, this call tells me that you'll encounter uh, someone that you'll experience a true love relationship and connection with. Uh, this love, it will be felt deeply. Uh, for some of you, I feel like this love will challenge you, but will also bring you profound growth and happiness here. Um, so yeah, just uh, this card, I feel like it encourages you to prepare your heart and remain open as this uh, once in a lifetime love is approaching to you. Just trust the process, guys, and understand that everything you've experienced so far has been preparing you for this moment. 
um, for those that are in a um, relationship uh, this card is an um, affirmation for you I feel of the depth and uniqueness of the bond you guys share with your partner here um, maybe for some of you it's a reminder that uh, what you have right now is truly special um, there might be times when you take your relationship maybe for granted uh, or face challenges but the, this card i feel like it calls on to some of you to remember and cherish the love that you have right now it also tells me that uh, upcoming period uh, is coming for you where um, you guys will deepening the commitment rekindle the passion or uh, simply a profound appreciation of the journey you've shared together here I feel like um, you guys will honor and celebrate and nurture the unique love story you've been uh, co-authoring in your life with your partner here. And let's see, this is the Oracle Mermaid deck. And let's see the message here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I was not expecting this. This is insane. Uh, it says divination, prophecy, fate, destiny, future fortune. Wow, guys, this is so amazing. <sighs> You're only missing from here the wheel of fortune, to be honest. <laughs> um, this is so beautiful. Okay, so for those that are being single, um, I feel like um, this divination card holds a magical and mysterious energy for you guys. The seas of your romantic destinies are stirred and a powerful current of fate is moving in your favor, uh, favor with this card. Your romantic path, I feel like it's going to be aligned with the deeper spiritual and uh, karmic forces here. Um, I feel like this is a predestinated encounter uh, or uh, synchronities um, of meetings ahead that you'll have. So again, trust in the flow of the universe as your love story is uh, intricately woven into the fabric of your life's greater journey. While the future remains un uh, uncertain, know that the universe has your best interest at heart here. So prepare to welcome surprises and potentially life-changing romantic experiences here. Um, for those that are uh, in a relationship, I feel like this card um, speaks here of the shared destinies between you and your partner here. Your connection may run deeper than you think. Uh, bound by the threats of fate and destiny. I feel like a period where you guys might um, have these revelations regarding the purpose of your relationship is coming. Uh, you guys might experience events that seem uh, to be coordinated, uh, whether it's reaching significant relationship milestones or facing challenges that test and ultimately st uh, strengthen your bond here. So trust that there is a greater plan at play with this card. Um, I feel like your relationship has a unique fortune and a destiny that will unfold uh, in its own time here. Just embrace the journey, guys, and trust that the deeper forces are guiding your love story here with this card. Okay, uh, let's move a bit these cards here so we can move to the tarot messages okay I'm just gonna do a three card spread here for you um, I'm just gonna take the I'm gonna shuffle them Take the first three cards from the top and see what um, you can expect to have in your love life 
for my pile number two what they can expect to have in their love life pile number two what they can expect to have in their love life i'm gonna take them off camera i don't want to see something um, being uh, like some naked cards here <laughs> uh you know youtube policy so first card eight of wands the second card the six of swords the third card oh, the justice and i will read the bottom of the deck you have here the nine of cups um this is going to be um a message from your counterpart what they want you to know right now i will read it at the end so we have here the eight of wands the eight of wands here usually represents uh, shift action communication movement um so for the singles there, uh, with this eight of ones here, I hope you guys can see. I see the focus. I don't know what this camera is doing. I don't have a great light in here. Anyway, uh, for singles, um, I feel like with this card, just as the true love here message and the divination one cards these cards are so promises once in a lifetime connection and fated encounters uh, this card empathizes that this event will come to you sooner than you expect here like i feel you're getting rapid communications perhaps in a form of messages or surprise encounters here with the uh, uh, comforting surprises um this might lead you to a closer um might lead you closer to this destinated love um the eight of wands also it's a sign for the sagittarius uh, for some of you you might uh, encounter sagittarius here um you'll um some this person will be someone i feel like um very has this adventurous spirit here um and loves to explore and this person i feel like uh, it's ready to embrace the unexpected here uh, for the couples with this uh, eight of wands energy um tells me that a period of accelerated growth or change is coming towards you um, paired with this true love and divination cards as well uh, i feel you guys will find yourself um, taking the next big step in your relationship here um, like moving in together uh, forming a family for some of you uh, others maybe from casual dating you'll start to be all exclusive and in a commitment relationship um, uh, or perhaps you guys will uh, rediscover the depths and intensify um, your bond here also i see an increased communication it's coming or a sudden uh, urge to travel or explore together um if your uh, partner with a sagittarius here um tells me that uh, you guys will explore new horizons together um, metaphorically and literally so yeah just um, i see rapid developments uh, are coming towards you, you in your relationship here um, that are is the is they're being destined and they're guiding your relationship to move forward i feel with all the cards you've been receiving here uh, 
Uh, okay, Six of Swords here. The Six of Swords speaks about um, a mental, emotional nature moving from turbulent waters to calmer ones. Um, this is the ship of the de dead here it's called um, departure adventure introspection research uh, daring to do something um, for some of you with the six of swords i feel like someone from your past will come back and you guys will rekindle this connection just a second sorry i'm really sorry for that i hope it wasn't too loud if it was um so sorry i'm not gonna edit it um, takes too much time <sighs> forgive me <laughs> um so uh yeah as i was saying someone might return from the past someone from your past with the six of swords i feel like it might return to your life and rekindle an old flame with this person for some of you um for others, um, I feel like you're moving from a period of emotional turmoil, confusion to a clearer and more introspective phase in your love life. Uh, this card tells me that you are leaving behind past heartbreaks or lessons and venturing to new uncharted territories of the heart. Um, also, the ship of the dead evokes to me a sense of deep introspections for others uh, perhaps a time of a soul searching regarding what you truly desire in love here i feel like with the messages you've been having from the oracle decks um i feel like there is a deeper spiritually um, spiritual journey your own right now uh, and the universe is guiding you towards a love that aligns with your soul path um the six of um, swords here uh, represents an aquarius so an aquarius might enter your life or um, it's someone that you be will be dealing with or you already if you know uh, someone from the past that's an aquarius and there you go confirmation <laughs> For someone out there it doesn't have to be okay so yeah you're going through a transformation period of time in your love life um, this is really nice for those that uh, are in a relationship um, your relationship going through a period of transition you guys um, might be moving away from conflicts or misunderstandings and heading towards a phase of uh, deeper understanding and introspection here. Uh, this call, uh, card tells me that you guys need some time for uh, mutual reflection, understanding the past mistakes and growing together. Um, this card also suggests to me a journey into the deeper realms of the relationship, possibly Undercover, undercovering buried emotions or discussing topics previously been that been avoided in, in the past. Um, with all the cards you have on the table here, um, from the Oracle ones, uh, I feel like this journey is meant to bring you guys closer to your shared destiny and deepen your bond here. If you are with an Aquarius uh, in a relationship or you are in a, an Aquarius sign, I feel like um, you have this urge or your partner has this urge to communicate more uh, with the Six of Swords here. Um, maybe you guys will analyze, analyze the relationship trajectory and make uh, necessary adjustments here to align with your shared goals. And the justice card here. <sighs> this speaks about balance or reestablishes order, law. Um, speaks, uh, speaks about the um, uh, things being fair. Um, 
some consequ uh, consequences of an action as well. Um, there are some things that cannot be um, avoided anymore with the justice card here. Mm, just a second, guys. Maybe I need to... Yeah, I think oh, this is much better. I'm sorry. I kept him in the dark for so long. <laughs> yeah, so things are coming to light here with the justice. There you go. Uh, it's a sign <laughs> uh, for those that are being single. Uh, as I said, um, things um, you'll find balance, fairness in your love life. Um, the singles, I feel like you're entering a phase where the universe is working to restore balance in your love life here. Any past hurts, unfair treatments or karming debts are now being addressed with this justice card. And so this can mean a new love um, or maybe redresses past heartbreaks or, or a time of introspections where you evaluate your own actions in past relationships. Uh, with this uh, true love here and divination card um, indicates to me that this karmic balancing act is guiding you to more some towards a more uh, authentic and destinated uh, love connection here you might be dealing with a libra or a libra will enter your life doesn't have to be um You might, for some of you, you might be actually dealing with the twin flame here because Libra speaks about mirroring. Um, uh, so maybe you guys will mirror this person. Um, the Libra usually is, um, seeks uh, relationships that truly really mirror their own values, desires, sense of fairness. So I think you guys will... Uh, mirror each other i sense this um, twin flame energy here doesn't have to be might be a really a soulmate um that you need to be with and learn lessons with for those that are in a relationship um i feel like this speaks about indicates a time of uh, recognizing uh, I feel like it's, it, this is a time when actions, good or bad, will come to light and um, their conse uh, consequences are felt here for some of you, not for everyone, of course. Uh, this could mean that the past misunderstandings are cleared up or hidden truths come to the surface here. So I feel that you guys will uh, address imbalances in the relationship and you guys will ensure that uh, you are being heard and valued um, uh, with these energies from the true love and the destiny uh, divination sorry, card here uh, tells me that um, a period of balance, fairness is integ integral to um, uh, this couple's shared destiny here. You guys need to ensure that um, your bond is built on trust, respect, and mutual understanding. Uh, if you guys are uh, dealing with a Libra or maybe you're a Libra yourself here, I feel like uh, it's, a, it's going to be a period here marked by a strong desire for harmony, open communication, and justice within the relationship. So, yeah, this is uh, what I had for you guys. Now, let's go to the counterpart messages. With the Nine of Cups here. Um, from the counterpart could be a twin flame, soulmate or a significant other, okay? Uh, for those that are with the Nine of uh, Cups here, a wish. Um, coming through okay you have it overall energy for the counterpart here um, so for those that are being single um, the message from your counterpart my wish is to be your, 
your side and to share the joy and contentment that comes uh, with true connections. Even if we haven't y uh, met yet or we are currently apart, know that my heart holds a space for you. Every possible intention and emotion I feel is directed towards our eventual uh, unity. Trust that the universe is guiding us to the fulfillment of our shared dreams. So that was the message for uh, my singles there. It's so annoying. I see the light on the card. <laughs> it's blinding. Blinding. Okay. Um, now for those that uh, are in a relationship, this is a message from your counterpart here. Here. Uh, I feel an immense sense of gratitude and contentment for the bond we share. Our journey together have been filled with both challenges and celebrations in, and it's our shared dreams and emotions that have strengthen, uh, strengthened our connection. I cherish every moment with you and believe that our wishes for the future are aligning beautifully. Always remember that my heart's deepest desires include our happiness and mutual growth. So that was the message I had for you from your counterpart. <clears throat> so yeah, I feel that your counterpart resonates with deep emotional contentment, mutual desires, uh, heartfelt wish for shared happiness and fulfillment here, even if you're in a partner or not yet, in a partnership or not. Now, let's see what you have here. Some of you might be dealing with an air sign or um, uh, maybe the person for um, those that are single. Um, you'll have this grounding material world concern or maybe yeah, this relationship is going to be very grounding. It will uh, materialize. Um, You'll have stability, uh, fertility uh, in the physical realm here. Uh, actually, for both of you, not only singles, um, you both will experience this stability. Um, I feel like you guys will be grounding and connection um, will connect to the physical realm here with this earth energy more if you're not dealing with an earth sign. Um, I feel like you guys will be focusing more on the material and tangible aspects of life. Some of you finances, career, health, uh, home. Um, I feel like you guys are laying down roots uh, and building something that's going to stabilize your life. I feel like you'll have um, what uh, to expect from your love life here you can expect uh, prosperity abundance and the fruits of one labor coming to fruition here you guys will be more connected with the nature here uh, you some of you will start to nourish your body more with this earth uh, card here others of you you'll find your balance in the physical aspects of your life as well Okay, and the second one, you guys are dealing with a Gemini. <laughs> what I told you, if you felt that mirroring, uh, the twin flame, this is it, I guess. Uh, okay, uh, so some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. You don't have to, okay? <coughs> Just a second. Okay, sorry, again, I got disturbed. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so, with the Gemini here. Uh, this is the twin card, uh, so uh, it's ruled by Mercury here. You might be finding yourself uh, with different relationship or not uh, getting more communication in. Um, it's about the intellect, it's about the way one uh, adapts to a situation here. Um, so I see more communication in a partnership, 
um, one need to express oneself clearly or a situation where open dialogue is essential. Uh, maybe this is also indicating to me an upcoming message or information you might receive if you're single as well. Or you don't have to to receive this communication. Um, Gemini usually represents the twin, which can signify duality in decisions here. That situations, uh, some of you, I don't know, you might be torn between choices, two choices or two paths to choose as well in your love life. So some of you might have options, multiple suitors, multiple partners to choose from. Take it as it resonates. It's not for everyone, okay? Uh, I feel that uh, this person is very, it's very versatile, adaptable, um, that is coming in your love life if you are single. Um, maybe if you're in a relationship, you need to remain flexible uh, and adapt to changing circumstances here as well. Um, some of you feeling this urge to gather information, uh, maybe study more, explore various topics. Uh, someone is here in a phase of, in, of in intellectual growth or curiosity here with this card. Uh, you'll have more social interactions here with the Gemini. Gemini. This is a sociable si uh, sign that um, Appearing here indicates a period of increased social activities, networking, collaborative and endeavors. Um, so yeah, this is what I had for you guys, my pile number two. If you resonate with this reading and um, you've got any uh, messages that you needed to hear, um, don't forget to leave a comment, like. Uh, subscribe in order to help me grow this uh, channel and um, again thank you for uh, being here until the end wish you all to have an amazing day slash night depending on the time zone you're at and um, again sorry for all the background noise i will try to modify my recording at hours when it's uh, more uh, quiet <laughs> uh, for me um so yeah, uh, until next time, stay safe, my dear friends. Bye. Hey there, my pile number three. If you've been um, uh, drawn to the Amethyst Crystal or to the Everyday Witch Tarot, this is going to be a reading. But before we start, I want to tell you that each of, uh, and one of you carries a unique light between and the world shines brighter because of it. So remember, every step you take, it's a testament of your strength and your resilience embrace your journey for you are truly remarkable so i want to tell you guys that i've been shuffling some um, oracle decks for you before we start this uh, reading with the tarot we'll dive into these messages here i haven't checked them out i just shuffled them and pulled them out for you i also took another two more oracles uh, with the zodiac signs uh, that i will read at the end just to give you some extra info um, so you guys can have uh, extra confirmation on whom you might be dealing with so yeah i'm gonna leave the tarot for now on the side i will get back to this in a bit so let's start with the oracles messages for you guys um, first we'll start with Everyday Oracle by uh, Lo Scarabeau, I think it's called. Um, don't judge if I'm butchering the name, sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's see. La Conversazione. Hmm, okay. So, with this card here, this speaks about uh, a conversation, a friendly dialogue. Or maybe good communication with someone. Um, I feel that if you're single here, um, with this card here, there is an opportunity for meaningful conversations and connections in your near future. My pile number three. Um, uh, if someone here been feeling isolated or disconnected from potential romantic interest, 
this card indicates to me that um, the tides are turning for you you'll be engaging in social activities um, and you'll be, be finding more conversations uh, people would be more attracted to you um, to have conversations with you will engage in conversations with you here um, and I feel that this is going to be an opportunity that um, you'll get to know someone on a deeper level uh, for some of you this card also hints to a reconnection with someone from the past or a newfound understanding with a recent acquaintance um, for um, those that are in a relationship here uh, this card is like a positive woman for you uh, it tells me that a period of uh, open dialogue and understanding with your partner uh, it's on the horizon here um, in case you guys been having some misunderstandings or conflicts recently with your partner um, this uh, will be cleared uh, with a conversation here um, I feel like bridges can be mended through effective communication also for some of you it's a reminder to listen as much as you speak and to approach conversations with love and em empathy here um, I feel like you guys will be deepening your conversation your connection sorry through meaningful conversations and that will strengthen the bo uh, the bond between you and your partner with this uh, conversation with this uh, la conversazione card I'm gonna leave this one here for now now um, this is uh, going to be a message from the Sacred Traveler deck. Unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. Um, for some of you, I feel like you guys are getting out from a period where... Um, you've been feeling uh, left uh, abandoned kind of gives me that uh, five of coins uh, energy here you've been feeling left out in the cold maybe for some of you but uh, the snow will melt you can see some ray of uh, light it's uh, coming towards in this forest and warming up this person here and uh, the birds are uh, in the picture as well showing me that uh, the spring is coming for this person in this uh, picture so um, i feel like you guys um are getting out of the uh, of a bad period of time in your life maybe you've been hurt broken um, you've been um, hurt um, disappointed by some uh, things in your life and I feel like this is about to change um, if you're single um, I feel that you need to trust the current uh, phase of your love journey here uh, maybe you guys been single for a long time some of you but um, and you, you might be feeling that you're treading on unfam unfamiliar ground here or facing unexpected turns in your love life but know that each experience is guiding you to where you are meant to be with this card um, you guys will meet someone when you least expect it or perhaps you some of you are learning valuable les lessons about yourself and what you truly desire from a partner this card is telling you to embrace unknown with an upper heart and trust that the universe is guiding you towards love and towards uh, own divine timing um, for those that are in a relationship here um, i feel like uh, you and your partner might be navigating uncharted waters here for some of you um, this could be in a form of new challenges, decisions, phases in your relationship right now. So 
instead of resisting change or fearing the unknown, uh, you guys should see it as an opportunity for uh, growth here. Just try to remember that every relationship faces its unknown territories, uh, but in this moment um, that bonds um, deepen and uh, transformation takes place in the relationship. And so just trust that you and your partner are where you need to be and together you'll find a way through any uncertainties here. Okay, now we're... Um, um, take a message from the Whispers of the Oracle. Uh, what? Whispers of the... of love? I, I think it's... I forgot the name of this. <laughs> oh yeah, Whispers of Love. Yeah, I think it is. I don't know what's wrong with me. Let's see what you have here. Forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding into past disappointment. So, uh, yeah, this card speaks about forgiving past hurt. Um, forgiving people that uh, made us feel um, disappointed or the people that disappointed us um, it's just um, telling me this card that you guys need um, to release past hurts, disappointments, betrayals from previous relationships here because holding into these pains can create barriers in when welcoming a new love in your love life. Um, you need to practice forgiveness and not only towards others but uh, for some of you towards yourself as well. You pave the way for true love to enter here by forgiving the past and forgiving yourself. For some of you, I feel like this is a period of healing, reflection, and understanding that every experience has contributed to your growth. So just embrace forgiveness as a means to open your heart and attract genuine and lasting love in your life here. For those that are in a, in a relationship, um, this card is it's a reminder for you guys of the importance of forgiveness and maintaining a healthy and a loving connection here. Every relationship has its own ups and downs, so by holding into past mistakes or disappointed, disappointments can only create resentment and hinder a relationship from moving forward. Um, you guys need to address the past issues and engage in open communication and just forgive the one you love um, of course if i don't know they cheated on you and it happened so many times and i'm not telling you to forgive those <laughs> um those kinds of kind of relationships or those kind of partners um Well, it's up to you. I'm not judging if you want to forgive them and try again and go for it, sure. Um, you're free to do whatever you feel like, so trust your intuition. It will, it, it's your best, best guide in life. Just trust your intuition. Um, So yeah, you hear those that are in a relationship, you just need to be remembered that true love thrives in an environment of trust, compassion and forgiveness here. Just let go of past disappointments, guys, and try to practice the forgiveness. It's, an, it's usually essential to experience the depths of true love. Uh, if we are holding into past hurts, uh, we are bringing into our new relationships um, the toxic side of us, the negativity, and that won't lead us anywhere. It will just make the relationship uh, not last. And then we'll wonder how, what the hell happened, right? 
why didn't work <laughs> um, now um, this is a message from the uh, mermaid of uh, oracle of mermaids what's wrong with me i forgot the name so the bigs uh, water flight um, heavy no oh, heaviness lifts burdens that are cast away weightless weightlessness okay uh, again i feel like this is uh, the unknown territory here again give me the same vibes you're just casting away all the burdens you've been carrying the heaviness that it's uh, on your shoulders is being lifted you finally see the sun you're finally able to feel its warmth you've been in this cold place until now and you've been carrying all this load on your shoulders but i feel like you're releasing all of this here with this card um i feel like it's coming a period of relief liberation for you guys and shedding the, bur the burdens that been weighing you down uh, for those that are single here um this card tells me that um, you guys will go through this emotional rejuvenation um, and releasing your love life I feel like you've been feeling weighted down by past relationships, disappointments or self-doubt and um, with this card here um, I feel like a period where uh, those burdens are beginning to be lifted for you it's coming a period where your burden your burdens are cast away um, I feel like you guys are moving towards a phase where um, you are feeling lighter more optimistic and open to new romantic experiences here now for those that um, are in a relationship here uh, with this card I'm getting this uh, uh, both partners here will find relief from past issues or uh, disagreements um, that might be have causing you guys tension in the relationship uh, it's coming a period of renewal where uh, old grudges or misunderstandings are washed away uh, leading to a lighter and more uh, harmonious relationship here um, I feel like the communication will flow easily and there is a sense of rekindling the joy and love that but, uh, brought you together in the first place here. This is nice. Okay. Let me make the room for the tarot. I'm just gonna do a three card spread. And... Uh, see what messages you'll get here with the tarot oh, god damn it they're too slippery here I'm just gonna take the top three cards and the bottom of the deck I will just uh, interpret it as um, a message from your counterpart here like what they want you to know right now in this moment also I did not put a time frame on this reading so you can just uh, do it while we you think of uh, what you need to expect in uh, love in your love life you can ask it can be a month a week a year six months depends when when you want to find out what's next for you in love um, what you need to expect in love or what you can expect in love The first card 
with the king of wands in the second card the two of swords third card ace of swords oh, oops and you guys have at the bottom of the deck the judgment card okay sorry i've been taking the card off camera because i don't know if i find any nudity in this deck or not i haven't used it in a while now <laughs> okay so you have the king of wands here You might be dealing here with a fire sign, um, um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, I see here with this map clear plans and direction. Like this king knows exactly what they want, where they want to go, where they want to be. Um, this cat is she's she's so mesmerized by <laughs> by the king what um, the king is pointing at and what um, probably telling her but this cat uh, speaks to me about intuition independence and sometimes um, a mysterious allure um, maybe if you're single you're dealing with um, someone will come into your life that's very alluring mysterious uh, very fairy um, you can with this card here you can expect to feel a surge of clarity determination in the pursuit of love uh, this person is very determined when it comes to pursuing the love um, also for some of you just um, like this uh, king of wands with uh, the way he is and he knows exactly where he wants to be i feel like you're in a phase where you're not just daydreaming but actively strategizing about what you want in a relationship here for some of you um just trust your intuition to guide you towards the right connections here um, also, as I said, in my also hint that someone charismatic and assertive, uh, someone that resembles the King of Wands, um, that has a lot of passion here, uh, I feel like will enter uh, your love life and it will offer you excitement, um, uh, direction. This person, as I said, it's very fairy passionate um, and or you're being attracted towards this person or drawn to this kind of people or um, someone uh, you'll attract someone with these traits in your love life um, I feel like you guys here are I don't know why I'm getting that with the two of swords, ace of swords here, I feel like you guys are like connected on a mental level more. Uh, for those that are in a um, relationship, the king of wands, you might be dealing with um, Aries, uh, Sagittarius or Leo here, you don't have to be. Maybe this person is just embodying these traits of the king of wands. Um, but this king of wands signifies to me that... Um, Someone here, it, it will take charge of the relationship direction here. Maybe for some of it's uh, time to revisit or re-establish shared goals with your partner. Um, I see that the passion and renewed vision will uh, reignite the relationship, will bring you both excitement and direction. Um, someone here needs to be careful not to become too controlling or dominating the relationship. Um, I 
we tell the cards above here uh -huh, with the oracle cards and the king of wands um, I feel like uh, the king of wands comes uh, as a timely reminder that while embracing change and healing is vital it's equally important to have a clear vision and direction here whether that you're single or in a relationship you just need to harness the king's determination planning and zest for life um, this is going to be vital for your essential in navigating the paths of love and ensuring a fulfilling jolly, uh, journey here the two of swords here um, some of you might be f have to take a decision here um, someone needs to take a, some sort of decision but um, I feel like you guys are refusing or are being uh, ignorant to it or maybe here refusing to see some kind of truth um, for those that are being single here uh, this card tells me that a period of introspec introspection and uh, maybe some you're going to be a bit uh, confused about the romantic interest here some of you uh, maybe you have to decide between multiple partners or uh, suitors and you don't know whom to choose um, so yeah you might be mm, it's something related to this uh, decision related to your love life here you might be torn between two potential partners or maybe you're unsure about uh, diving to the dating scene or uh, or not um i see this little cat here so it tells me that your intuition knows what uh, what is right for you even if you're not constantly acknowledging it just trust your gut and feeling and remember the lessons from the um, from the past but you also have here all these uh, oracle cards that are telling you that you need to let go of past burdens and to communicate openly here um, yes this two of swords it's associated with Libra as well so um, uh, I feel like um, someone that embodying this uh, maybe you will be dealing with a fire sign and an air sign uh, some of you here um, one is um, going to bring you a lot of balance harmony fairness in in your relationship or maybe it's the same person that embodies the fire and the um, Libra qualities as well and this person is going to be balanced it will bring you harmony fairness in your life you guys also maybe are weighing your options and needing to find balance between your heart and your mind here with this card for those that are in a relationship um, maybe someone here is at the crossroads crossroads or uh, a decision that needs to be made in the relationship uh, whether it's a significant life choice like moving in together getting engaged addressing a particular issue here um, you have as well to trust your intuition guys um, I feel like some of you are avoiding some issues here or refusing to see the reality of the situation You just need to be open to communication, um, forgive, embrace, change. Um, addressing the issues head on can make you move forward with clarity and understanding here. Um, with this Libra influence here, 
um, tells me that some of you need to compromise balance um, and try to weigh, uh, weigh in both sides of the situation uh, try to find a harmonious resolution that serves the relationship best uh, interest here I feel like this is like for some of you a reminder here that sometimes the essence you guys are seeking are already with you in yourself. Um, it's about trusting your intuition and embra embracing the journey um, and making decisions that align with your highest good in love and uh, relationships here. Now with the Ace of Swords here, um, I feel like some sort of clarity, communication, it's heading your way. Um, here, uh, some of you might have some sort of inspiration, sparked idea here with the way this sword is being lit by the sky or the sky is getting cleared. Um, if it was cloudy, your judgment was cloudy, you're getting clarity, you're gonna get out of this two of swords um, uh, state. Your sittings, um, you'll know what to do, you're getting uh, some sort of inf information. Yeah, I, yeah, I think you guys will be cutting through the confusion here with this Ace of Swords. Uh, for some of you, as I said, someone, um, if you're single here, someone might come and uh, just uh, address um, their feelings towards you. They will be coming and communicate clearly how they feel about you. Uh, will let you know about their um, um, desires, their uh, emotions towards you. Um, there is the Ace of Swords speaks about new beginnings, new ideas, new clarity. Uh, for singles, uh, I feel that um, you'll be having moments of clarity as well, revelation. Uh, it's about to surface in your love life. Um, this could mean understanding what you truly want, maybe in a partner, gaining insights into past relationships or realizing the patterns that you've been um, that have been hindering your love journey maybe um, given this card energies of uh, seizing opportunities could also just suggest that you guys will be meeting someone who will stimulate your mind and conversations that are actually engaging and refreshing for you um, usually, uh, this is a zodiacal sign for this, it's Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, um, so you either you might be dealing with someone that's uh, an um, air sign or maybe an air sign, uh, it will come into your life here, someone that will be um, very intellectual. Um, very blunt, uh, likes to say the truth. Uh, you might also, someone here might have someone that it's um, um, will bring you a lot of clarity here in your life, a lot of insight. Um, this person is very knowledgeable, very smart. Um, so yeah, I feel like those that are being single might find connections with individuals who embody these earth sign qualities or uh, you'll have moments where intellectual intellectual uh, compatibility becomes a focal point in your romantic pursuits. I feel like you'll uh, be inclined to deal with people that you um, connect on a mental level more than uh, follow the passion but I see there will be passion as well with this king of so uh, once here um, 
but I feel like you're being more attracted on a person uh, you're looking for their intellectual, not their looks, I wanted to say here. Uh, for those that are being in a relationship, um, this tells me that a breakthrough in communication is coming your way. Um, it could mean resolving a long-standing issue, having a significant conversation that brings about a deeper understanding or jointly maybe coming up with a new idea that changes the dynamic of the relationship you guys are having. Um, So yeah, I, I feel like uh, you guys will have this uh, mutual understanding, respect, and the need to approach uh, situations rationally. That's what uh, you can expect in your love life. I've, so yeah, it's all about, with the Ace of Swords, um, about open communication, clear understanding, new insights. Um, Maybe some of you, I wanted to say that whether it's about understanding oneself or a partner or the dynamic of a relationship, I feel that with this Ace of Swords here, um, I sure that clarity and truth will guide the way, uh, helping to illuminate the path ahead in the realm of love. Now, uh, let's go to the judgment card here for singles here your counterpart message is uh, that uh, my path is your path uh, my path and your path might have taken different uh, turns and while uh, They've each had, uh, each had their moments of joy and sorrow. They're leading towards a significant point of self-awareness and understanding here. There is music in the journey, a rhythm that speaks of in individual growth and evolution. Even, we, even if we are not entwined, uh, our separate twins are preparing us for a harmonious melody together. So take this time to let go of past burdens, grudges and disappointments. Embrace the journey of self-reflection and joy. It is through this that you'll find the clarity and readiness for the love that awaits. And for those that are in a relationship, the message from your counterpart. Together we, we've journeyed uh, journey down various paths. Um, faced uh, challenges and celebrated milestones. It's time to reflect on where we've been and where we headed next. Are we in a harmony with our desires and dreams? Let's take a moment to tune, to tune into the music of our souls, ensuring that uh, they still play in unison. Let's release any old grudges, misunderstandings and wounds that have weighted us down. Our love is a, state, a, state, a testament of um, rebirth, renewal, and the joy of heading the call of the life we are meant to live together. Um, let's continue the dan to dance down our path with light hearts, united in the purpose uh, and love. So, yeah, just um, this judgment card here calls to reflection, understanding and moving forward with renewed clarity and purpose here. Uh, whether single or in a relationship, I feel like this is an invitation for you guys to embrace the journey, let go of past pains and uh, strike confidently in a harmonious future here. Uh, now, let's see, Mercury. Hmm. 
Mercury is like it was the god of mess the messenger god um, and the intermediary between human and divine so I feel like this card has a profound significance in communication again intellect and connections what I was saying <laughs> I was feeling drawn to this oh my god well message for you out there guys <laughs> Um, for singles here this tells me that your next phase in love uh, revolves around in, in, around in, I can't say it around intellectual sorry connection and meaningful communication um, you may find yourself drawn to potential partners with whom you can engage in a deep stimulating conversation it's not um about uh, just it's not about just uh, about the surface level attraction i wanted to say um you're yearning for a connection that resonates on a mental level i feel here uh with this mercury given mercury's influence here um, i feel that it's possible that online dating texting messaging or other forms of, uh, of digital communication will play a role in your love journey here for some of you um, I feel like you guys will embark on a path of self-discovery as well uh, perhaps attending workshops reading or taking courses related to relationships love personal growth um, I feel like this you have this thir uh, thirst for knowledge uh, that will lead you to meet someone who shares similar in intellectual pursuits or passions with this Mercury card. Um, for those that are in a relationship here uh, with this Mercury, I feel the importance of open dialogue in your relationship, understanding, intellectual com uh, compatibility is at play here. Uh, for some of it's just time to embrace deep conversations, rekindle the intellectual spark, um, ensure that um, you guys are on the same page in terms of aspirations and goals as well. Um, I feel like some of you guys will learn together perhaps as well, but attending workshops, uh, couples therapy for some of you, or maybe simply taking up a new hope hobby jointly um, with this mercury card also i feel that uh, if there have been misunderstandings or miscommunications in the past uh, now it's going to be opportune time to bridge you know, those gaps um, and speak um, and more importantly more importantly some of you need to listen here uh, I feel like uh, you guys will um, become each other's messengers, uh, conveying feelings, dreams, and desires here with your partner. So, yeah, this is just a reminder that whether you're in a relationship or single, um, it's a the communication has a vital role in this um, in your life now um, the understanding and mutual inter uh, intellectual growth will play in for uh, resting a genuine connection and love here for you as the messenger mercury is the conduit ensuring that messages of the heart and mind are delivered and received with clarity and uh, intent i feel let's see the second one venus okay um this is about fertility love uh, beauty venus goddess um, it's about possessions, money, values, um, relationship, partnerships. Um, 
so for those that are single here with this venus card it foretells a period where love and communication um, take center stage in your life given the planet's association with uh, what we value singles may you may find yourself um, reflecting on the kind of partner you truly desire uh, not only in terms of physical attraction but in shared values ideals and life goals um, it encouraged you guys to understand and prioritize your own worth as well ensure that you don't settle for anything less than what you truly desire here and i don't feel that you you will uh, settle for this my uh, pile number three yeah it's essential for you guys to stay grounded in your values I feel like meaningful and um, valued uh, connections are on the horizon for you and the key is to remain true to oneself and ensure that communication lines remain open here. As for those that are in a relationship uh, with the Venus car here, I'm getting this message of importance of mutual respect, uh, shared values and deep love. I feel like you guys will rekindle the romance. Uh, you'll um, be appreciated here uh, by your partner. Um, your partner will will appreciate your beauty more, and um, maybe recognize the shared values that uh, you guys uh, are bringing together uh, in this relationship. So yeah, I think you guys will. Take a step back and appreciate the love that you guys share. And I feel you'll work on strengthening your bond uh, further. Here aligned with the Mercury's card message of the communication. I feel like with this Venus adds a layer of depth here. Uh, suggesting that not only... Um, the, um, those that are in a relationship um, should communicate but they you guys should also ensure that you share your goals values and dreams uh, that all of this align um, i think that you will celebrate the partnership and have, you guys will reevaluate and set new relationship goals um, that will, will reflect your both values you yours and your partners so yeah whether single or in a relationship uh, i feel like venus acts as a guide uh, and it's ensuring that um, love pursuits are rooted in um, genuine connection and mutual ideas here it encapsulates the very essence of love in partnership driving home the importance of genuine connection and shared values so this is what i had for you my uh, pile number three um i hope this resonated with you if it did don't forget to leave a comment down below let let us know let us know sorry um also don't forget to leave a comment also share and uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this uh, i'm open to suggestions uh, if you guys uh, want to have some crazy questions that you want to um, find an answer to or you need some guidance or uh, some clarity in some sort of a matter uh, you can just leave a comment uh, with your suggestions and um, at the end of the week friday probably i will just look through all the comments and pick uh, one or two of your uh, suggestions so yeah thank you guys so much uh, for all the support it's much appreciated and thank you for staying until the end with me. I really hope that um, this reading uh, put, got you some clarity, um, gave you some direction in your love life. And um, yeah, uh, stay healthy um, and take care, my friends. Yeah.